So Martin, talk to us about the um, the sort of line of containment that you start out with and, and how, how that relates to the motion and, you know, whether that is kind of held all the way through the motion. Right. Well, clearly if you're watching the video and if you wanted to slow it down, you would say that that line doesn't appear to be held because the club's going around me in, in an arc. Well, the club has to go around you in an arc unless there's a, a pause or a definite stop. So unless I go here and stop and then move the club up in a straight line fashion, the golf club has to go around me in some form of an arc, particularly if I'm going to remain in one spot. So I like to feel like I keep that line from this end of the club and my hands are a part of that as you can see they're on the club so my hands the start of the, the butt of the club and the head of the club form a line now I like to feel that that line is maintained from the very start where you'll be able to see it at the start so I have it there a defined line I start the swing on that line and then when I finish I still have that line now I don't try to have that line finish somewhere, I let it finish wherever it finishes. Now clearly between here and here, that line is in constant motion. And people say, well the line's on this angle, this angle, or this angle. But what we have to remember is that this end's going to travel the fastest. So what I mean by not moving and just having a motion is since this end's going to travel faster than this end, I don't have to make it go faster it's going to happen. And so all I'm doing is I'm using the properties of the club to do what it's designed for. There's a there's like a happy medium for every player and where you where you started off saying about um, how a beginner might become very ball focused sure. like, like tied into the ball so yeah. it doesn't allow them to kind of get this freedom in their motion. Equally you might have a player which I think I could relate to where you know you're trying a bit too hard and therefore yeah. you know that extra effort is kind of pulling you out of your spot mm -hmm. and you and you talked about it yesterday when you talked about rhythm and tempo and how there is a there's a place there's a there's a there's a sort of level of intention where you can be consistent from yes so for example you know as i said earlier i want to balance between this line that i see as a as a line i'm not going to give up and a free motion that i know has to be an arc around me so I would like to have a balance of that. So I don't want to be uh, really strong with it and then really s sort of don't let the club swing very much or I'm going to end up with a six iron swing if I'm really strong with it and I don't let the club swing. I can hit it straight, but I can't hit it anywhere. So I can't play the game with just that. So I need to have, understand the variables if I get softer in my hands. I never get really soft in a six iron if I'm planning to hit it really firmly. Because if I do, I'll probably feel like I give up that line and I'll lose some of that control, mm. what I call containment. 